A lot of you guys mention walkability when you're moving somewhere. And what's the walkability like? Am I going to be able to walk to the grocery store? Or, you know, can I just get basically anywhere? No, this is not a state where you're going to be able to find that. And Salt Lake, especially, is basically one of the exceptions to that. What are the most walkable areas in Salt Lake? I'm going to give you a bunch of them. Let's just jump right up. this video uh, I'm gonna give you an idea of walkability yes but first my name is Jordan Marriott if you don't know me this channel is here for you everything you need to know real life in Utah what it's really like to eat sleep work hunt fish play in Utah in the Salt Lake area surrounding it and kind of as we stretch out that way if you're looking to make the move first subscribe to the channel like the video and then give me a call text me reach out to me somehow about making the move to Utah and what really matters we can help you figure that one out it's I got you back moving out this way let's just jump on in uh, and talk a little bit about walkability not my strong thing not really my priority but it comes up a lot so we got to talk about it guys so walkable areas around the Salt Lake in Salt Lake City proper we're gonna talk about the Salt Lake metro area I'm not gonna be talking about what I would call Salt Lake I tend to split the two but I grew up there so I guess I can be a little bit picky Salt Lake City most walkable areas my opinion of most walkable areas okay from from growing up there this is my standpoint and you probably will find other opinions but I'll tell you from a native standpoint this is what I think of most walkable. I would certainly put Sugar House would be the first one that comes to mind. And that area just, I love the, the vibe of the downtown area in Sugar House. It really acts like its own little utopia, its own little city within Salt Lake. And you could walk to basically anything. The way they've got downtown designed, I and mean, you've got you've got Walmart, Target type places in the downtown area. You've got men's warehouse, you've got a lot of eateries, you've got um, Olive Garden, you've got all sorts of things in the downtown area. Some breweries are down there, some of the best in the state actually, in, in Sugar House. So you could really, if you're within like basically, I want to say half of Sugar House, your walkability really will be pretty decent. You might walk, it might take you, you know, like 10, 15 minutes to walk to an area which is not that bad, okay? Compared to a lot of these other areas where you're gonna be 10, 15 drive time minimum, Sugar House is definitely pretty good for walkability. Now, it's gonna be smaller homes. The closer you get to the downtown scene, generally they're the more historic, older Rambler style homes. But if you, if you really wanna be able to walk everywhere, that's gonna be a really good fit for you. So I would highly recommend Sugar House as one of these best areas for walkability. And the next one up, when I think of Sugar House, I, I think of the avenues. They're very similar in style of home in that close to downtown Sugar House, you've got a very similar style of like those old Ramblers that you find in, um, in the avenues. You find some old Ramblers there, some old Victorian homes there. Uh, a lot of those kind of, I don't want to say colonial style, just the more historic style of homes are definitely going to be in both areas. The avenues will have more so, but what does the avenues have that Sugar House does not have good access to? And that's downtown Salt Lake. Downtown Salt Lake City, you've got City Creek, you've got Temple Square, you've got a number of other shopping places around. Tons of businesses, locally owned, not locally owned, lots of business headquarters are there. So the avenues certainly would be the number two area I would recommend in the Salt Lake area for walkability. 
and that's access to downtown. The avenues, part of the Capitol Hill area as well. They're kind of next to each other, the avenues and the Capitol Hill area. And the walkability is gonna be really good for you. It's not gonna be as good to try and get to like a Walmart or something of that nature. Most of those are gonna be a little bit further south of downtown itself. You do have a bunch of things around there and you could basically do all your shopping, like I said, like City Creek, I think you've got like Smith's Grocery Store, some things like that around. So you've got pretty good walkability. I, I would say in, the down, in that area close to downtown. If you live downtown, I mean, obviously that's a whole different deal. You're basically ingrained in it. You really have to go nowhere. Why even walk? You can just look at your door. Uh, Central City is a good one too. You could go to Central City. It's basically the southern version geographically of the avenues. Totally different vibe there, but distance-wise it's very similar. So that would definitely be on the list as well of, of a good walkable area. As far as in Salt Lake City itself, I mean, as far as having access to most every business you need, those are most of the areas that I would say you've got really good walkability. Ninth and Ninth comes up as a walkable area. It's walkable to a lot of the mom and pop shops around there but you don't have as many of like the, the grocery stores and like the everyday living, everything you need kind of walkability. It's more of, hey, I can get up and walk, go to some, some like local eateries and, and locally owned you know, places like that and then go walk through the park and get a workout in. That's more what I think of when I think of 9th and 9th and on, on niche.com they call it East Liberty. That's what I would think of for walkability there. I personally don't really care about walkability. So this isn't something that really connects for me, but I get asked about it all the time. And I did as a kid, I used to walk from where I grew up into downtown Salt Lake, and it took us 20, 30, 40 minutes, an hour, depending where we were going. And then you had to walk back, and it was the same walk, and you were like, I hate my life, because this isn't fun. And who wants to walk an hour one way and then you go, crap, I've been here for like four hours and I gotta walk back. Now I've spent six hours of my day and two of them were, at least two of them were walking. So it's just, that one doesn't really jive for me. It's just, it's a tough deal. If walkability matters for you, uh, let me know. Give me a call, shoot me a text, reach out to me if you're looking to make the move here and comment below if this video helps you out because it's just not, while it's not my thing, it doesn't mean that I don't know a lot of the areas around here. Because, I, I mean, I do. I grew them up here, and this is kind of where I stay. I just keep coming back here and never really get away from Salt Lake. So, if you are looking to make the move, give me a call. I can help you kind of figure that out. And certainly, there are areas that are going to give you better walkability for, like, medical needs, or shopping, or vice versa, or maybe specific points that you need. Anyway, until next time, guys. Ciao, later.